Sorry, Suleiman. Say sorry. When you feel comfortable. Okay. I'll start now. Okay. Okay, so I just want to start out very broadly. Matt began his speech with a quote by Thomas Jefferson, who again was a founding forefather of our country. And I want to stress the point that we made that most of the fathers, the founding fathers, were predominantly um, of Christian beliefs and ideals. And again, there is consensus for religious freedom, which exists today. So I don't. I think that's kind of manipulating the quote a little bit. And again, when Corey said that one in five adults say that they are not affiliated with any religious institution, we acknowledge this, but um, they might. This whole poll might be a little skewed and the issue is not really as relevant as it seems because they may be more willing to partake in polls and identify themselves as atheists or non-believers or agnostics, etc. But they may not have shifted their beliefs, so it, it could have been the same way years ago. Um, again, they're twisting, we have the First Amendment for a reason, there's um, freedom of speech and religion. and. No one's forcing anyone, any one religion or religion at all on you. And for the Pledge of Allegiance, no one is forcing you to say, under God. You can stand up and acknowledge that this is the, elite, the pledge of your nation to be a patriotic citizen, but you're not, no one's forcing the words out of your mouth. Um, um, sorry. And again, okay. Religious debates are undeniably sensitive subjects. The negative recognizes and appreciates our nation's diversity and dynamic social fabric. However, removal of all religious references, and keep in mind, all, as stated by the resolution, from governmental policies and procedures would upset the careful balance that the government must maintain between promoting religious equality and freedoms and protecting individual groups' rights. There must be some degree of religion in order to accomplish this fundamental objective. These references in no way infringe on the rights of non-believers or those of different faiths. It is illogical, impractical, and undesirable to alter our status quo. Thank you. Please vote negative.